Good evening, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Monday, December 22nd, 2014, around 4.51 p.m. in Bellwacker, Massachusetts. It, the sun's down right now. We didn't see too much of the sun. It was a cloudy day, and some rain or snow sprinkles happened around, but nothing accumulated. Highs reached 40. It's going to be probably the coolest day of the week then on the rebound with warm temperatures and major rainstorm for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day is going to be in the mid 50s it's going to feel like springtime some news to report the um, uh, Detroit Pistons waived small forward Josh Smith from their roster also sad news to report in the world of music legendary singer Joe Cocker passed away at the age of 70 and also another passing to, to pass along to you the founder and former owner of WWLP Channel 22 in Springfield, Massachusetts, the an NBC affiliate, Bill Putnam, passed away at the age of 90. And that's about it on that. And my next subject is about a classic 1980s sitcom that was seen in syndication. It was called Out of What This World. It was a fantasy sci-fi sitcom and it was created by John Boney and Book I mean Bob Booker and it was in association with MCA Universal Television and it aired in syndication from September 17th 1987 through May 25th 1991 and the and it lasted four seasons. Mainly syndication for sitcoms, usually out of this world, was aired on weekends. And it was seen locally in Boston on Channel 5 for the first year. Then it went to WLVI TV 56 for seasons 2 through 4. And the sh sh and star starring in Out of This World was Maureen Flanagan as Evie Eltho Gotland who was a part human, part alien. She was the star of the short show, even though in the credits, she was the last one shown, even though she was a star. That did not make really any sense. Also starring Donna Pascal, who was famous for being on the classic TV sitcom Angie and Saturday Night Fever. She was in it as Donna Gotland, Evie's mother. Eventually she became mayor of, of the city they lived in in season four. Joe Alasky as Beano Focklink, who was Donna's brother and Evie's uncle. Doug McClure, who was who, who was Kyle Applegate, who was the mayor of the city they lived in. In season four, he became chief of the police before he was, he, and he was actually a former Les, what, Western star who was trying to clean on to his fame in a movie, but Doug McClure was an actor who starred in the Virginian back in the 70s and 60s. Buzz Bellamo as Buzz. Christina Nyga, Nyg, Nydra as Lindsay Zellkirk, who was Evie's best friend. And Steve Burton as Chris Fuller, who was Evie's boyfriend. Those were the major stars. And Burt Reynolds was the voice of Troy Garland, the voice, Evie's father, and Donna's husband. The series revolved around Evie, who was a young girl who discovered on her 13th birthday, this was the first episode, that she, she was, her father was an alien from the Atlantic Atherson, who married her mother, and they merged life forms together, and Evie has superhuman abilities. And she could join the two fingers, her fingers like this, and it could maneuver herself with objects. When Evie claps her hands like this, she could, she could free. It could the thing. Um, time gets resumed to normal. She, she, Evie can freeze individuals when the time is frozen. Evie um, gains the powers of Alps which allows her to maneuver objects 
all the episodes of Out of This World revolved around Evie's mis misguiding powers and causing some troubles. And it takes the whole episode to rectify the problems and try to fix it. And this sitcom was very, very funny. All of the episodes were like the powers of Evie and stuff and fixing them. Some of the comic of this show was very, very good. And it was... Also, they com Evie communicated with her father, Troy, and they she communicated him. They had a cube, which acted like a telephone line, and and she, Evie and Donna usually were the ones to talk about what's going on, the powers and stuff, and how to get out of the troubles and stuff like that. It was pretty good and pretty funny, and kind of the Troy's voice was pretty good. It was kind of like adding the elements of like Charlie's Angels thing with the voice thing which was pretty good and stuff but Donna and Bino were the only ones that knew that Evie had superpowers and they had to keep the cube away from the from anybody else to see it because they didn't want it like to to like let everybody know about this and it, that made pretty fun comedy and stuff like that. It was a very, you know, I think a very fun, a funny show and a comedy. Probably one of the most underrated um, TV sitcoms in the 1980s, even though it was relegated in syndication for many, for the four years. But I think this show had very good potential. If a network picked it up, it should should have been on a network. It'd probably be a, maybe a long-running hit and stuff, but it was well relegated to syndication, and cable was still in its kind of infancy. I'm very surprised this show never made it into, like, the USA Network because the um, Universal was part owner of the USA Network at that time, so I'm surprised that. The opening theme of the show was Swing on the Star, and that was a that was one of the most fun funniest things. The show lasted four seasons and over 96 episodes and it ended in 1991. I was kind of sad it ended because this show kind of had potential maybe to last five, six, seven years. Now we run syndications of out of this world like were shown for a couple of years on Fox 25 in Boston but somehow it disappeared from syndication and it's never been released on DVD because of a lot of musical rights to the Swinging on the Star song, which they would have to pay a lot of money for it, and they would have to use uh, their own different themes, show, um, sh um, music, if they released it on DVD. And I'm real surprised that, like, Out of This World reruns haven't shown up on, like, Antenna TV or Cozy TV or Me TV yet. Maybe it will appear on Antenna TV in 2015 because a similar type of um, sci-fi fantasy sitcom called Small Wonder, which is, you know, with the robot, Vicky. It's, this is, like, similar to it, uh, because it, it, it like, around, it around this time. Both, both TV series, like, Small Wonder and Out of This World were, like, probably, cla probably classic TV sitcoms for syndication, and it, very good, I think. I, I recommend... Hopefully one of these days that Out of This World's either on DVD or Antenna TV in the near future. It's, it's I used to love watching um, Out of This World. Very, very good good act cast. I think Maureen Flanagan ended up doing a couple of other, other like shows after that. And I think they had a, a probably a good cast with like Donna Pascal because she was an Angie in Saturday Night Light Fever. Doug McClure was in The Virginian, and they used Troy as Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds was a big movie star back in the 70s and early 80s, and he does the voice of Troy. He was just credited as Troy, and then he wasn't, in the credits, he wasn't used as Burt Reynolds at all. So, um. So if you get to see Out of This World, it's probably this episode on YouTube. Just check them out. I think they're very funny. I think it, this is a very underrated and and great TV sitcom that should have gotten its due when it was on the air. And that's about it on that. Facebook friends and YouTube followers. 
and later on is the third and final video blog which will be about the my personality profile which will be about Cowboys legendary running back Emmett Smith. See you later Facebook friends and YouTube followers tonight.